In part three of talking about all of these environmental toxins and how it affects the body, we are going to be talking about formaldehyde in this video. So formaldehyde is used as a preservative. It's also a colorless gas, um, but we see it in preservatives and we see it a lot in beauty products, unfortunately. Please take a look, but it's not just beauty products. Um, we see them in like beauty products like eyelash glue, we see it in pesticides, we see them in our cleaning products, certain wood furniture, as well as medicines, obviously that industrial building materials, paint, cigarettes. It's found in a variety of things, which hint, this is why it's really important. If you buy new furniture, especially if it's that composite wood, make sure that you open it and let it off gas in your garage before you bring it in. That way it can get fresh air and it, the smell and all the different VOCs and chemicals that are used to create it, it can off gas and it not be in your house. When we inhale formaldehyde, if it's in um, a product that you open it and it smells, it can irritate the nasal passages and throat and eyes. Um, it's also been linked to cancer. It has also been linked to liver disease. And it's also been shown to change your immune cells. This is obviously something we want to avoid as much as possible. I think this is is doable to avoid as long as you're being intentional about certain furniture or products that you're using like paints in your house there's so many good options out there i know it can be kind of intimidating to look at that list and be like what that's like everything it's not there's a lot of alternatives now um better options that you can ask um the person at home depot of paints that don't include formaldehyde sometimes you have to be specific but someone can point you in the right direction of a better option of the product that you're trying to buy. So I know with us, I have seen a lot of formaldehyde and eyelash glue. There is one by Tarte that doesn't have formaldehyde. Um, so just make sure you're being eyes open and aware. And I think that's why I wanna do these videos is I wanna teach you of, well, what are they in and what can you look for? And that's not like, this is not a comprehensive list by any means, but to me, as I was researching, these are probably the most common things that you will see it in, that you will be using or buying in your house. 